Hello the internet and welcome to another fast school holiday video with the CNRL Library Innovation Studio and Library Children's Services. Today I'm going to show you how to make rainbow pancakes in the oven. Now this is fantastic because normally when you're making pancakes you only make a few at a time and hand them out to someone, make a few more, hand them out to someone. It takes ages and you don't get to eat because you're the cook, you're eating at the end when everyone else is finished. With oven pancakes, it's all cooked in one go and then you just cut it up, serve it out, everyone eats at the same time. And the bonus with this is, you can make it look into a fabulous, dazzling rainbow. And who wouldn't want to do that? For this cooking workshop, you will need a baking tray, you need a mixing bowl and spoon, a cup measure, a third cup measure is particularly good with this recipe. You'll need flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and vanilla essence, just like you would with normal pancakes. But because these are oven pancakes, you're also going to need corn flour and baking powder. And to have some fabulous rainbow action, you will need some food coloring and a spoon and bowl for every color you've got. And you're also going to need an oven. Right, first things first, put your oven on 220 degrees and get your baking tray in there as well. We want it all good and hot. This isn't gonna be in the oven for very long. So it wants to be the right temperature straight away. Now, we'll do the dry ingredients first. This is pretty straightforward. You need two cups of flour. Now, my cup measure is a third cup measure, so I'm actually gonna do six of these, but two cups of flour. One, two, three, that's one cup. One, two, three, that's two cups. Next up, we've got our sugar. That's one cup on top of the flour. There we go. You need two thirds of a cup of corn flour, four teaspoons of baking powder. Now the reason we have corn flour and baking powder in here is because we're cooking it in the oven, which is a very different cooking process to doing it in a fry pan. It's gonna be cooking for a short amount of time and hotter. The corn flour is gonna make it fluffier and the baking powder is gonna make it rise. Okay, now we're gonna put in our wet ingredients. Make a little well, do. crack two eggs. One. Two. Now we need two cups of milk. Whoops. <laughs> one. That's one cup, because remember I'm using third cup measures. And one, two. There, two cups of milk. Now we need just one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then we mix that all up into a batter. Stir your ingredients in slowly until all the dry powder is mixed in with the wet mixture. Once that's done, you can speed up a bit without fear of it all disappearing in a, in a puff of flour. Now get your bowls of food coloring. First of all, let's do the red. Put just a few drops in and pour in some of your batter. Now use a separate spoon for this because when we move on to another color, you don't want it to all mix in. Let's see how red this goes with four drops. Well, pretty pink. I don't mind a bit of pink, but I think I'd like to go a little darker than this. <laughs> That's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve drops. I do tend to overdo this a little bit, has to be said. I'll do that with each one. Stir it up. Not bad. Again, I'm gonna put a few more drops in. Yellow. Oh yes, like custard. And last but not least, my favorite color, green. Now, I've got a little bit left here, so I'm gonna make a different color. I'm gonna make purple. Red and blue make purple. See how this looks. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, get your baking tray out the oven. It's gonna be hot, so be careful. And now for the fun part. Get one of your colors and just pour it right in the center of the pan. You want all that color to come out. Give it a scrape to make sure you get everything out of the bowl. Now, we're gonna give it a little bit of a tip just to help it spread. There we go. We want it to spread out fairly evenly. This is our base color. And towards you, this way. And lastly, in this direction. Now get your second color and pour that dead center and let that spread out too. It should push the red away. And we're gonna do that with every color. I'm gonna go green next. Look at it go. And I think now I will go blue and yellow. And lastly, I'm gonna put in my special purple. Fantastic, how beautiful does that look? I'm excited. The red's almost gone, but who cares? So that's going into the oven for about five to seven minutes and already well preheated to 220 degrees centigrade. Give it a little prod with a fork to see if it's ready. If it springs back up in the middle, it's ready. And mine is. 
look at that. <laughs> now all you need to do is carve it up and plate it up. Look at these, these look fantastic. The color goes all the way through. It's not just on the surface. You have a rainbow layered pancake and they taste great. Oh, and they're red on the bottom. That's where the red went. <laughs> And remember, if you like blueberry pancakes, you can put blueberries in with the mix. You can put blueberries in with the blue bit, banana in with the yellow bit, strawberries in with the red bit, and the other colours, I'm sure you'll think of something. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this workshop. We hope you enjoy eating it as well. And keep tuned to find out what you're going to need in the next workshop. We will be making a mini hologram. To do this, you will need some clear plastic, uh, the printed template, a marking pen, ruler, scissors, clear tape and a phone or tablet.